Now, you don't have to agree with me, but I want to talk about something that I'm a little bit passionate about that I've been sort of thinking about lately. Um, it's just that uh, we need to stop rushing life in general. I think, you know, we're expected to know at the age of 17, 18, coming, out, coming through year 11 and 12, expected to know exactly what we want to do leaving school. And I think that's just flawed in so many ways. We're, what, one eighth, one seventh of the way through our life at 17 years old. We've, we haven't done anything, we haven't experienced anything. We don't even know what we're supposed to be doing with ourselves half the time. I'm 24 and I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. We're expected to, we're expected to pick one thing and one thing that we're gonna do for the rest of our lives, whether that's you know going to school and doing a trade or going to university, doing four, three, four, five, six, seven years sometimes of study to be a doctor, nurse, a lawyer, whatever it is, at the age of 17 or 18, after we've experienced nothing. I think some of the life lessons that we learn growing up once we leave school is so much more important to help us decide what we want to actually do. For me, I'm like I'm only I'm only 24, so I can't I can't ex I can't say from experience of someone that's you know 30, 40, 50 years old. I, I'm sure there's people out there that still you know in their 50s and 60s never really enjoyed what they did. They don't enjoy what they do now if they're still working. Sorry. But personally, for my my advice my advice to anyone whether you're younger than me, older than me, same age as me, whatever it might be. Take it with a grain of salt if you want to, but just relax and don't rush life. Don't rush into things that you're not 100% on. Don't rush into something that you don't particularly want to do. Probably more for the young people who are still going through school or coming out of school. Don't just pick something for the sake of it. Have a gap year, have two fucking gap years, whatever, whatever it takes. Decide on what you want to do, and if you've got a passion, if you've got a hobby, turn that hobby or passion into something you can maybe make money off, or something that you do enjoy and you can do every single day and becomes a part of your a part of your career or your life. I'm not saying if you enjoy basketball that you have to go and play NBA because that's not realistic for everyone. But if basketball's something you love, coach, play at the highest level you can make YouTube videos about how to get better at basketball even like it could be anything honestly try and pursue what you love what you enjoy as your career I just think yeah it's it's, a, it's such a flawed system coming out of school year 11 year 12 and being told that we need to know exactly what we want to do it's it's ridiculous um, so yeah short and sharp today but I just really wanted to get that out there because I feel like myself I was rushed I felt rushed into something that I didn't particularly love and want to do for the rest of my life. I'm not saying I don't love what I do now, but doing it, seeing myself doing it for the next 15, 20 years, I don't see myself doing it and I don't want to do that. So that's why I started doing this sort of stuff, making content, making videos, taking pictures and doing photography on the outside of this as well. Like I'm doing stuff that I really want to do, which I should have just started doing years ago. But obviously, at that stage of my life, I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know I wanted to do this. Didn't know I wanted to take photos. Didn't know I wanted to go to the gym as seriously as I do now. But it's good that, you know, I'm only 24. I've got plenty of time still, so now I can pursue those things. It's a bit harder having to, you know, work 38 hours a week and all that sort of stuff. But it's not impossible. So I think if you've got the time, pursue what you can. Just pursue what you want to do. Um, if you're someone like me who's left it a bit, not late, but, you know, working and trying to sort of find yourself and things like that, then try and make it work, do what you can, because it'll all be worth it, and nothing, ta everything takes time. So, gear for it. Hopefully it wasn't doom and gloom. I mean, my coffee I had wasn't even coffee, it was water, oh shit. But it looked cool when I walked in though, so. What is up, YouTube? Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for watching. Really do appreciate it, guys. If you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, 
smashing the like button, whatever you want to do. Hit subscribe, really helps. I know a lot of you aren't subscribed, I don't know what the stats are, but subscribe, please, it does help. It does help with me, my channel, it doesn't help me, it helps my channel, which in turn will help me to do it. And yeah, hit the notification button in case you don't want to miss another video. And I'll see you all in the next one.